Hello, my name is Alex, and this is Tank Tested. And today, kind of a weird video. As you can see from the title, I'm going on a trip, and I want you to come with me. Or at least some of you to come with me. About two and a half years ago, I went on a similar trip to the Rio Negro in Brazil, a tributary of the Amazon River. I was there to work on a film about the aquarium trade, about the local fishermen, the pieberos, that collect fish from the Rio Negro and sell them as part of the aquarium hobby. It's an interesting story that merges our hobby with the story of conservation and the preservation of a part of the Amazon River Basin. But I only got about half of the film done before, well, the world. <laughs> collapsed. Now things are coming back online and I'm going back down there to finish the film. But I'm not going down to the Rio Negro alone. I'm actually going down on a research trip with Project Piava, which is a nonprofit that works with the Piaberos that catch the fish and works with them to make sure that this is a sustainable practice and that the best possible handling is done with the fish so that they have the best chance of surviving. It's an incredible trip, and on my last expedition down there, we got to meet a bunch of piaberos, we got to swim in many tributaries to the Rio Negro and see hundreds of different species of fish, many of which have never made it into the aquarium trade. We also got to swim with pink river dolphins, and we got to see some of the wildlife that calls the trees surrounding the Rio Negro home. It was a life-changing expedition, and I'd love for you to come with me on this part two. Now, this is not a vacation, per se. This is a research trip with Project Piaba. We'll be doing a bunch of water studies, we'll be catching fish and surveying the environment, and we'll be meeting with various Piabero groups to work to train them on how to catch fish more sustainably and in a better way for the health of the fish. This truly is an expedition to keep this tiny pocket of the world as pristine as possible, because without the fish trade, this area is more and more susceptible to logging, mining, and cattle farming. But with the fish trade intact, the people there have an economic incentive in keeping this system pure, keeping this ecosystem whole. That's the goal of this trip. Now, for specifics, this is a two-week expedition. We'll get on an incredible boat for about 24 people. Those 24 people will be made up of members of Project Piava, as well as people like you people that want to go on a fish-centric expedition into the Amazon River Basin, want to support a fish nonprofit, and want to get kind of an experience of a lifetime. On the boat, we get three meals a day that are fresh cooked, many of which are fish caught from the Rio Negro that same day. It's, it's not just a great experience for the eyes, it's a great experience for the, the stomach, you get the opportunity to taste the Rio Negro, as well as see it both on shore and in the water. But, as I said, there is work to be done. We will be spending a few days uh, at various sites working with the local people that live in these remote communities of a couple hundred deep within the Rio Negro's river basin. But we'll also get the opportunity to see incredible colonies of fish, many of which I guarantee you you've never seen before in the aquarium trade. This is an opportunity to see where your favorite fish come from and the neighbors that those fish share their waterways with, which you've never seen before. This is not a collecting trip though. We are looking and we're doing some science, but we're not taking any of those fish back with us. That's actually the job of the Piaberos. They catch the local fish, bring them down to Manaus, then they're shipped overseas and you buy them in your pet shops. For now, 
we're not taking any fish from the wild on this trip. This is a looking trip and an opportunity to just hang out on a boat for about two weeks in the depths of the Amazon. This beautiful Blackwater River system where the water is crystal clear, although a little brown, uh, but still completely clear. And the forest surrounding us is teeming with life. There's a lot more information about this expedition and links where you can sign up down below. This is short notice, it's only a few months away, but I'd love the opportunity to get to hang out with some of you on a two week expedition. If you're interested, let me know in the comments down below and let me know by signing up on those links. I hope that many of you can come with me and if not, you'll get to experience a bit of what we saw in the film Fishing for Cardinals that I am creating. This trip will be the final phase of primary photography for that film. And then a bit later, hopefully, all of you will get the opportunity to go on a virtual trip into the Rio Negro. I hope that some of you though, come along on the real thing. The trip costs a couple thousand dollars, which is actually pretty affordable for what it is. You're getting to go on a two week river cruise in the Amazon River. And critically, you're supporting Project Piaba. Now Project Piaba is a nonprofit. They don't have a large nest egg of resources, but they do need to get deep into the Amazon, into the Rio Negro region to work with the local Piaberos. And this trip, funded in part by some of you going along with it, is how the trip is financed and how their work in the field is financed. This is a really interesting kind of symbiotic relationship of tourism and real work to make our aquarium trade have a positive impact on the world. Now, I want to be really clear, I'm not getting a cut of any of this. I'm going on the trip, but the money that you spend will not be going into my pocket. It'll be going towards paying for the boat and making sure that Project Piaba can get out into the wilderness to do the work that's so important. If you really want to create a natural environment in your home aquarium, a trip like this is an opportunity to get that first-hand experience with experts on the ecosystem itself. So I hope that I've inspired you to at least consider checking out this trip. It's put on by Project Piaba, and I have links in the description on how you can sign up. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to them. Or if you have specific questions for me, leave them in the comments down below. I'll kind of use that as an open forum to reply to each specific question that anyone has, and I'll give the up-to-date best information I've got on the trip. And I just want to emphasize one last time, I'm not getting a penny of this trip. This is a trip that I'm going on, but in order for it to be economically viable for Project Piaba, we need some of you to come along with us. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions and sign up because we're going on a trip in just a few months. Thanks so much for listening and I will see you next time.